Onivia, League of Legends highlights. The Grish has kind of won the mind game a little bit. I guess Amnara then would be the worst thing I would want to hear Dokla say. Oh, Yo, okay. okay. I mean. Oh, I got so baited. <laughs> I got so baited. There was like one. Against Ezreal, anytime I'm playing lane that has the push, you feel way better. It's so much easier to actually avoid uh, the Mystic shots when you are behind the minions, which happens when you get that push constantly. Uh, so we'll see if they can do that. A Blaze all means of trouble. Stun. Forcing a Blaze to flash, which means they've got everything they need. Contract has a red buff and it's signed in. 400 gold owed to the CLG jungler. Mind game there. Uh, Luger, of course, staying around in lane, but Poom does finish the reset, did get a tier, you know, as, as expected. You mentioned that. Uh, it is going to be coming back. I, I always liked here on these champions. Oh, Luger's play. double. They knew he's gone. The flash fall. They're going to get him. Luger, he overplays his hand. Ben shouldn't be much of a problem. Botling still his priority. I mean, you're never going to outpush Sivir or Sona unless you can threaten an all in. Mm -hmm. As real Yumi tend to not be able to. And so, first dragon comes in. W. Yumi heals right back up to full. Not a problem there. Again, clearing the waves back and forth. Be respectful off the fact that Six is probably coming first in, jumps in, decent damage, Ignite is on. Again, Deliver can block the skill shot, shouldn't be dying to the autos by themselves. Second shield comes across, he will live, trading back on a stick set. Nice aggressive move there though, and, and now that Luger has no GP. Oh! oh! <laughs> Pride Stalker over the wall, gets the kill, and they can dive Poom. I mean, oh, Poom yeah. does have his heal, but there is very little chance he's getting out of this one. You just don't use your E until he flashes, and I don't think he has any chance. Yeah, true shot for Ash. Stick say claims the kill credit, and Golden Guardian say not today, CLG. Fiora stepping out of lane to see is there's kind of big going on, has a control ward, now spots Palafox, but the Trinket Ward did that. And he's like, and now I know Plankon's here. Okay, 3v1. Let's run away. Can he repost well? Gets stunned. Gets over the wall. Repost not going to matter enough. And burns down. CLG active again on the map. Get the kill into Licorice. Yeah, that's a really big one. He's going to lose waves here and lose an entire tower in yeah. the face. Nice sweep in, though. If you don't pull aggro, the turret will die first. They go to the fight anyway. Don't going to flash right back out. We'll stay alive. Turret won't quite die, actually. Oh. A few hits left. They got three minutes to knock that one down with a plate. So a lot of gold, uh, the, the parry on the ulti, uh, but would have had to be able to parry the W, I think, to have any chance of getting out. You know, if you parry the stun from contract. Top side, Sivir is sitting bot lane, just doing wave clear. Um, similar duty that you can put an Ezreal in, right? Where you can kind of leave yourself alone. You're relatively safe from most risks. Okay, Licorice gonna find decent damage here. Not gonna be able to find the ult play or anything. Of course, Contracts has flash and ulti to get away. Tower dies, Dokla was there for it. Thank you for the 400 gold. CLG up now to 1200 in the lead. Bot will be traded back finally. Yeah, Sticks a very rich. So that is kind of the, the big hope right now for Golden Guardians. Uh, is the gold leader in the game by, by a fair margin. So uh, doing quite well, but Doko again, just wow. pushing this up and he's pounding that tower. But he's got a teammate, by the way. So he's going to go back in for the play. They get the ulti over the wall. Crescendo sets it up. Licorice. Oh, the Q. Back, oh. flashes, dodges away. But now a Blaze Olive's here, finds the pullback. That should be enough. No, the shields are good enough. Thank you, boom. And now a Blaze Olive, can he get away? He's got to walk over the rocks. Hits back on a pallet box. Shield flash. there, flashes safety. Pride Stalker. Ulti gives move speed. speed. Needs to flash in, finds one, blast cone it, and you get power fox as well. Nice snipe by Stixay. Once again, the move speed for the ulti. It looks silly, but it's the right play. And Pride Stalker is almost guaranteed this kill. He's just out of range, but E should kill. There it is. Red Smite Auto. Thank you very much. Golden Guardians get three unanswered kills. Man, that was actually really smart to use the ulti for speed there. I don't think a lot of players do that. Ulting just on nothing for speed, it's 20% move speed. So it's yeah. actually a lot. He for sure would not have caught them without that. So really smart stuff. And now TP in, they're gonna try to see if they can get contracts. Well, the awake honors will not be stunned. Luger gonna spell shield one mystic shot, plays all back in, but no ult, no. Gotta fun. make sure they've got control here on the Golden Guardian side because there's a three and O Ezreal who's already on two items. Murmana will easily transform by the time this Dragon Soul spawns. Big damage on a Luger, gonna walk away, stays alive. Just kidding. True shot, Barrage kills him. Ole's Ignite gets the kill credit, and it's more on the board. The Golden Guardians bottom lane doing everything they can. Yeah, playing really well, very aggressively. They are just not afraid at all of going right at Luger here. Spell Shield be damned, Sona be damned. They know they have the damage to get these kills. Blaze Olive in trouble. And that's going to be huge right there. And Blaze Olive just drops Stoke with the kill credit, his first of the game. CLG. No, I mean, they're just ulting towards top. They're just going to try to go for the tier two. Okay. So they don't feel that they can make their win. I mean, they had no vision in the area. So maybe that's the call. Like, where's the closest horse? They literally have nothing on this entire side of the map. That horse from the other. So they go top. They do take down the tier two. 
but you're giving away that dragon for free. You're going to lose the tier one mid. Uh, so Golden Guardian. Accomplished. Golden Guardian has got that summoner spell down. Palavox chunked a bit. Mid lane outer drops those CLG find their third oh, turret. But the health bar, you know, we try Pulse to give people free. the ability to see it. But either way, CLG coming out as some defense. Talia is, is kind of moving down towards mid, but now decides to go back up towards top. Diego threatening a little bit of a flank, but Pride's not oh, going to take this fight. This is a lot of contracts alone in the river. We know he has no ult. We know he's got no hope. And that is Golden Guardians shuttering the faith of CLG. Yeah, that is a big deal. So they know he's by himself, and he just ends up dying there. A very easy pickup for Golden Guardians. They grab the dragon. Yeah, Zale, I don't want to <laughs> hear it. <laughs> <laughs> the idea was very sound. Uh, true. The idea was like 85 decibels. Okay. It was a, it was very sound. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to cast this guy? That's a, that's a long list, I'm oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, now they might actually lose Baron. They just kind of like, oh, cool. We can't do a Baron. I guess I'll base. And still, Deer just going to take it. Wow. Okay. That is that is a goof by Golden Guard. It goes back to this down. All right, I want to see that one. Uh, Jet stats with Palafox uh -oh. Walls. Licorice. Licorice. Yeah, Licorice. He's in trouble. Yeah, looking a bit tasty. A little bit of a snack here. Gets down to half HP and gets knocked around. He's been for more. Gets a bit close, finds the heal, but nowhere near enough. Thank you for the gold. Uh, it kind of feels like the wheels just fell off. Past the river without any wards at all. Gets punished for his hubris. And now CLG on the push here with Baron can take a lot. I mean, Luger's going to take down the tier two mid very easily. Pride Stock are potentially in trouble. They're going to take down the tier two bot. The gold lead is going to explode. It was blasted by that wall. Yeah. There was no counterplay. There was really. no counterplay. There was nothing you could do. W was on cooldown. It was just a wall gap this game. Oh, absolute wall gap, absolute honestly. Wall gap. Talia builds better walls than uh, than Azir does. Contracts forced to get away. Has to burn his ulti defensively again. Pride Stalker dives in, wants this one, but there's just no damage anymore. Pride Stalker gonna burn a stopwatch, but that means Stixay gets shoved in and dies. He had flash, he gets hit, and he falls. And CLG go for more. Luger flashes in for a slow. Stunned up by Fiora. Big shuffle back by Azir, but it's not gonna matter. It's three unanswered kills. It's CLG looking for the first three start they've had in five years and they're on the way now i think they've got it 40 seconds here are liquors 40 seconds on a blaze all of six eight down for ages no wave clear here for golden guardian clg find the fight and they're gonna find the win oh could you believe it CLG defend the faith, looking at a couple of final kills to make sure. Bud Light Ace comes through. Where were you when CLG ended week one in first place? What a performance from them. Nice comeback there, punishing Golden Guardians big time for, for losing focus. Not